Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I have got a guy here, Mike Chapon. Some of you dropshipping enthusiasts might have heard of him before, um, but he has wrote, written several articles on how he made $178,000 in three months from dropshipping uh, across the US and Europe. So he, <laughs> He comes from a completely different background where he didn't know hardly anything about marketing. So he had studied hospitality um, in Paris and in Switzerland. Um, and he went on to make really successful dropshipping business. So I'm gonna go through how he started and then we are going to break down his door and see exactly how much he made. <music> In less than a year, he was able to make $60,000 per month on average. Can you imagine having $60,000 per month in your bank account? Um, and he now even has a course on Spocket. So he's making extra revenue from that too, which I think is, he sells for $12.99 and I'll drop that in the comments below. We're not being sponsored by him. I've just come across uh, a couple of articles and I find his story extremely interesting and motivating um, and I thought you would like to hear it too. In a single day he was able to make over $10,000 in sales so if you look here um, <laughs> you can see he made 400 orders, uh, $11,000 in sales so he obviously has high ticket, high converting uh, products um, with 3,500 sessions. So that's the number of people you need to get to your landing page or product page to see these kind of conversions. So he is very transparent. He kind of lays all his cards out on the table and tells us everything. Um, he, he kind of lives by a quote saying, you can become an expert at almost anything on the internet and that's exactly what he did he learned he loves facebook uh so he said you can learn everything on facebook on youtube and all of that so he is a self-made man and now he goes on to talk about budgets so how much did he need to start his drop shipping business and he took this really seriously right so he put aside five thousand dollars um he and i support this says that you cannot start uh, any kind of business with no no funds to start with because you need to promote it and you need things to look professional for people to buy into it. So he put aside $5,000, but he says that what he actually needed was just $1,000. He used this money to start his Shopify store. Um, you have a 14 day free trial, but then you will need to pay 30 pounds a month after that he used it on promoting his products on his facebook ads another thing he talks about a lot is his niche and how he came about his niche um and he says there's no saturated marketplace right um uh, there is opportunity in every area but he really believes in living in your niche you know you want to you can make yourself um your own target audience and he wants you to live and breathe the products that you sell or that he sells. So he loves animals, as do I and as do I'm sure a lot of you. So he loves animals and uh, he has a dog himself. Um, so that's the niche he chose because that's something that he knew literally everything about and he can provide products based on his own dog ownership experience. He knows the pain points of owning a dog and I guess how he can fix them and what he would like to see on the market. His audience consisted of dog owners from all ages and genders and he selected yellow as it represents happiness and optimism and a muted shade of brown for earthiness. He says when he writes his product descriptions, one of the most unattractive thing on any website are huge chunks of text that's a big no no uh so he tries to keep everything short and concise and that's how he is able to communicate with his customers so well 
As I said, he has been super transparent. I've never seen anyone as transparent as Mark before, really. Uh, so if we look at Spocket.co, um, they ask him, what did your marketing plan look like? This is a big one, especially for those who have never done any sort of marketing before. Uh, Mark loves Facebook ads as do many others. So Facebook and in Instagram are under the same umbrella, which is why you can run those campaigns together. Uh, if we go down here, we can see that he's talking about audiences. Um, so you do have to test out your audience. People do say, be prepared to lose some money before you make money uh, because you want to test your audience and you want to see who is actually interested in your product. Uh, if you go down here, you can go to your campaign objectives. He's kind of taking you through the template and you can uh, you can run campaigns to generate leads and bring in client contacts. And you can also create conversion campaigns, which means that you're looking for people to buy, to go ahead and buy your product. He chose his demographics. Um, so he chose people within the US, Canada, Australia and New Zealand, um, so and the UK. So he's selected these locations primarily. And then his targeting strategy. Uh, so he looked at people's interests and saw where people were already buying uh, pet items for, and he was able to include that into his campaign. So basically, Facebook are then going to target other people who have been shopping. Uh, at other pet stores. I just feel like we know everything about Mark and his drop shipping site, but I do want to look at it a little bit more deeply. So I'm going to go into his website right now. I'm going to dive into his website and we're going to analyze it. I want to know how much he's making. I want to see these campaigns that he's running and I want to see what his best selling products are. So if you come with me, we're going to head over to Salesforce and we're going to head straight onto his website. So you can see here that he has a lot of really big and bright images, um, really sweet as well, very relatable. Uh, it looks dog friendly, right? And then we can go over, oh, he's got very good reviews. So he has social proofed his website. And then we can go across and take a look at his products. So he's got a huge range of products here. Um, so this is a website I would buy from because it looks very uh, engaging, it's interesting, it, the dogs look happy and happy with their products and that's ultimately what you want. But now what I am going to do is head across and analyze this page. I think the reason that these stories make me so excited is that these people have started from scratch. Yes, they had done their research, um, but that's exactly what we're doing here. We're doing some research now and we're looking at how other people have made a lot of money. Um, and I just find it super inspiring because it shows that this is something that I could do. This is something that you could do. You have so much information right here and there's no reason for either of us to go and get started on a store. Guys, thank you so much for watching this. If you have any questions, just drop them in the comments below. Um, and if you can think of anybody else that you would like me to do a little analysis of, also drop those in the comments below because this is something I love to do. And I cannot wait to see you at the next one. So make sure that you subscribe um, and do like this video because uh, yeah, it, it, it just, it means a lot. It means that we know that you enjoy this content. Thank you and I will see you next time.